that the sword I made was, ru was ruined. They used my sword in the fight. I can't sell the sword in that kind of condition. It really ruined my day. I'm depressed. Oh. And now she's left. Here we go. Moldy for Upper level is okay. So, uh, we got about that other brighting, bought that other guiding staff. So, this upper level, this, this chunk has been pretty much fully mapped. Uh, so I need to head back to this area over here. There's a bunch of traps over this way, so I'm probably gonna get hit a couple times. Also, enemies. Uh Mara. Giants. One, two giants that annoy. Okay, there you. Turns out they're friend. They're, they're really friendly now. That didn't work. Curse you, spin doctors. Literally two enemies in a row. The identical encounter too. Okay, fine.
right. Okay. Thank you for me to stop. Counter. Colgan was fighting along, fighting with the demons alongside the ninja soldiers. What stood out was the stench of a giant. Colgan's voice echoed. Be careful! He's got poison breath. And then, and then Q, poison breath. Colgan warned him in, but as Colgan warned them in, the giant let loose his poison, let loose his poison breath among upon the people. The power of the breath was too much. Even your party was affected. The other's numbers of ninja soldiers fell before the attack. Colgan click is done is disdain. We're too weak. Call the Queen Guard leader. Chief Ledua at once. We'll need his powers if we're to stand a chance. Sir, yes, sir. For the rest of you, we're going after that giant. Colgan and the ninja advance on the poison giant. In an instant, the chaos of battle ensued, and soon a herd of ogres was able to break off. Party drew their weapons and confronted the ogres. We are all poisoned. Okay. Well, um, that's a pain in the butt. Alright, so... Lowest hit points character in the party right now, which is which is Creo. Not a lot of damage. I think they just I think they're just straight resistant to spells. Took one damage, so that's fine. Okay, so in that case, what we're here to do assisted, restrict shot, and protect those two. We need to double slash them. They're gonna just double slash and good, uh, shot. Heal, we'll heal outside of combat. After you defeat the ogres, the battle seemed to quiet down. Colgan's troops seemed to have gained the upper hand. He took notice of you and ran towards you. You've been poisoned. Then you use an antidote. You've been cured of poison. This is a battle zone. There's no place for adventure to be wandering around, so just stay out of it. Get back to your positions. There's no time to waste on adventurers. I have warned you. Ninja returned to Colgan's side. And the beatens can only be beaten with all their might. 
for an instant you thought about helping Colgan, then you remembered how he acted back on the fourth floor. Colgan will be fine. <laughs> oh, we should give him a help. We should help him out. Uh, well, on the fourth floor, he tried to kick. He apparently had a grudge against us and tried to kick our butts for something we didn't remember. Um, nay, yeah, good. And my <laughs> that, that, that triggered Google. Like he's good. Look, he, he he'll be fine on his own. For some strange reason, you just thought that. That's not a strange reason. That's a pretty logical reason to draw there. Are you good? Advance a few steps further. Okay, the cat's trying to play with the cords again, so let's try to use my feet to herd Miss Patacon away from the cords that are running the uh, streaming setup. There we go. Uh-oh, I did something stupid. I wiped last time I got a back attack. Oh, it's not a back attack. God. Okay. Funny if that was what finished off the uh, Chimera. No, Miss Kitty, you leave that alone. desk there because I have a kitty. drop off if I go ahead so however getting I, however I get back is going to require uh, some steps or a detour or something might be a one way and axe
place. Okay. It's not unusual to find a dead guy lying around in the dungeon. Finally found you bastards! Um... Hello? Orphe appeared in front of you, her eyes burned with anger. She spoke in a tense voice, ready to destroy everything in her path. Where is my father? Well, I'm coming back from the graveyard, but I can't find him anywhere now. I asked the bartender at the tavern. He said that you were the la that you scum were the last ones to have seen him. Where did he go? You bastards know something, don't you? Say something. Maybe they don't know anything. Eoba, where the hell were you? Oh, like a master to you, isn't he? What have you been doing while he's been missing? After we talked to the tavern, something concerned me. I told you you'd want my head in a silver platter, so I was quiet. What do you mean? I went to the graveyard to check that place. I was bothered about that corpse by the shield. That corpse? Orphe, did you not notice that? The body has a scar on its face. Orphe's face grew pale. He, she realized what he was about to say. Don't be stupid. It's not uncommon for an adventurer to have a scar. However, all the other bodies were those of the Imperial Knights. I know all the faces of the Imperial Knights, but, only one with a, but the only one with a scar on his face was... Shut up! What are you trying to say? Father is already dead, and he appeared to before us in the form of a ghost, right? That's not enough proof to think that it's Father. How stupid. My father must be working on the latest expedition. Any Duhan soldier would say so if you asked them. Orphe glared at Yoba and then walked off. An expedition, huh? How could he join when he was so injured he could barely walk? Don't you feel something is strange? People talking cheerfully to the tavern one day, then disappearing the next? Nobody knows where the people went. As if we're already in Hades. I get that creepy feeling. Maybe it's just me. Well, for now I have to catch Orphe. Hope she's cooled off and hasn't been caught by any monsters. Kitty! Well, in that plays to the theory I've been going that, hey, maybe a lot of these people are already dead. Including our party. Good, I turned into it as opposed to turning away from it. <sighs> Freaking spiders, man. Game and spiders. Just blast them all with fire. They are enough of a problem, and uh, I don't want to have to spend too much time on them. Boon. First, I 
Pets do a spell cancel with you two. Um, attack on the giant. Let's just see how effective that spell is on the giant. It's a flame spell, so it's there, it shouldn't work. Fire completely. And six ball missed. Okay. Well, let's do this spell cancel do again. Are relatively limited, like the attack spells are. There's no real, like, frost attack spell. Alright, so that's a one way door, it looks like. Cutscene. Sunshine and sweet fragrance are coming from, were coming from somewhere. The place was filled with silence and beauty. The past is always short-lived. It was Kaza, the young man who you met near the waterfall. He squinted as he gazed at the view. He heard about the vile acts humans and other races committed. While it is true that we elves, while it is true, we elves also have a history written in blood. Long ago, we used to kill one another using a cursed power. This place is proof that such a thing happened. Kaza looked speaking. Stop speaking, he looked sad. This was the lost city, long before Duan was founded. Once we enjoyed all the happiness life offered, we marveled at our magic civilization. We were free from agony and pain, and peace prospered throughout the land. According to legend, it was destroyed by a single grudge. At first it was just like a simple scene, no one paid it any heed, but then the hatred of the dark heart was like a, was a sweet drug. Since they never had felt the power of the dark before, they were ruined by it. it turned to face you, it was very different from the first time you had met. Sophia probably knew. Hate only breeds more hate. The dark will keep growing until you destroy the very seed. However, Kaza stopped speaking. Gresham was very pained. We've lost everything, except for our ability to hate. Huh. Gotta kind of your tails on the roller cord.
Okay. Oh, I'm gonna force feedback right race into the controller here. Maybe there's... I don't know if the Reaper's gonna show up in this level or not. Two of you schmucks. I think there's a Reaper door over here, what it is. Yep, there's a Reaper door over there.
So, if I recall correctly, this area is not mappable, or doesn't have the auto map. And the guiding staff doesn't work here either, so this is why I have the map open here too. There we go, and the quest item I needed. Represent the book in its hand. On the cover was a design of two adjoining triangles. And the back cover was a note most likely written by this person. In the book that Walter has been looking for. Read it. In this labyrinth to find the truth. As long as there is salvation, I will never stop moving, no matter how severe my fortune may become. This place can be called the Country of Monsters and Demons. After entering, I was able to see what I couldn't before. I feel two conflicting desires from this place. On the one hand, it wants me to live, at the other, and yet at the same time, it wishes same time wishes for my death. Why does God allow such a place to exist? God's profound mind can't be fathomed by mere mortals. There's some deeper meaning to it all, you may have to go deeper inside. If only one who has made many sacrifices and possesses a strong will is able to enter here. Enter there. I met a man, his eyes seemed, seemed sharp. His face looked exhausted due to difficulty and fatigue. He has difficulty walking. Or due to entry and fatigue and difficulty watching. His white hair falls into soldier. He came carrying a broken sword. He looks like the ghost wandering in the wastelands. Like the guy who trained us to start the dungeon. The man went, got the deepest part of the labyrinth and saw whatever secret it held. He murmured. Note ends here because the rest is covered in mold and can't be read. Alright, so I got the quest item. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.